This state has got a little something for everyone. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 must-visit destinations in New York State. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the many great places in New York State that make for a memorable vacation. Number 10. Lake Placid The word placid doesn't exactly suggest a thrilling getaway, but don't let the name fool you. While the surface of the area's namesake body of water is indeed remarkably calm, there's tons of things to do here in Essex County. There are plenty of outdoor activities to be enjoyed during the summer months, while come autumn, the foliage is stunning. The winter season, however, is when Lake Placid really comes alive. Given that the village is located at the foot of Whiteface Mountain and played host to the 1980 Winter Games, it's a very popular destination for both downhill and cross-country skiing. Together with Tupper Lake and Saranac Lake, Lake Placid makes up the Tri-Lakes region which as a whole is well worth exploring. Do you like horses? Be sure to visit the Adirondack Equine Center. Number 9. Albany Yes, Albany. Looking for a city break? We feel you. Since we're not visiting NYC on this journey, awesome and incredible as it is, let's head to the state's capital, which is surprisingly modest in size, but makes up for it with its history and welcoming locals. It doesn't exactly have pizzazz, but it still holds appeal. This is where the state's laws get made, after all. One of the original 13 settlements, Albany dates back to 1614, and its history is at the center of its appeal. Historic churches, homes and sites are seemingly around every corner, making it a real treat for anyone with a passion for the nation's past. With under 100,000 residents, it's also perfect for any traveler wanting a low-key city vacation that delivers some culture without the crowds. Number 8. Finger Lakes Located in western New York, south of Lake Ontario, this collection of 11 lakes, notable for their long, narrow shape, run from north to south. These distinct bodies of water are the result of glaciers millions of years ago. But according to local Iroquois legend, the lakes were created by the fingers of the Great Spirit. The latter explanation certainly imbues the area with a certain larger-than-life sense of wonder. What makes Finger Lakes so special is that the area has a bit of everything. Yes, the landscape is stunning, especially Taganic Falls State Park. But there are also historic sites like Harriet Tubman House and the Heritage Village of the Southern Finger Lakes. It's also the biggest wine region in New York, and more recently has developed into a great craft beer scene. Number 7. The Catskills A beautiful landscape that gave birth to many American folktales, the Catskills never fail to make an impression. While you might not believe in witches, Rip Van Winkle and trickster gnomes, as you navigate the Catskills, your mind might drift back to the local folklore that the environment inspired. Within the forest preserve, you'll find countless hiking trails, and abundance of wildlife and waterfalls. Though most popular in summer, spring, and fall, there are winter activities to be enjoyed as well. The towns that dot the area, including the world-famous Woodstock, yes, that Woodstock, each have something to offer. If you're big into hiking and appreciate scenic views, consider the 3.2-mile giant ledge trail. River tubing, fishing, downhill skiing, spas, the Catskills have got it all. Number 6. Buffalo is Albany a little too quiet for your tastes? Well, then how about Buffalo? The second largest city in the state after NYC, Buffalo is by definition a city that's overshadowed. But that's part of what makes it so cool. It makes no effort to compete with New York City. And as a result, it's developed its own cultural identity. The city is the birthplace of Buffalo Wings, and they still know how to make them all too well. The skyline has a number of notable landmarks and buildings of architectural note, including the Kleinen's Music Hall and the eye-catching Art Deco Buffalo City Hall. Once an industrial city, Buffalo had to reinvent itself when the manufacturing jobs moved away. Today, it's driven by creative young entrepreneurs and a can-do spirit that inspires. Number 5. Niagara Falls if you're looking for a diverse trip that scratches more than one itch at once, pairing this iconic landmark with a trip to Buffalo always makes for a great experience. It's only a 17-mile drive to the falls from the city. As you likely already know, the United States shares these iconic falls with their northern neighbors. And while many argue that the Canadian side offers the superior views, 
With millions of cubic feet worth of water crashing over the falls every minute, it makes for an awe-inspiring sight no matter where you're looking at it from. Taking a boat tour allows you to get up close and personal with the falls, which is arguably the best way to get some perspective as to the actual size of this world-renowned natural landmark. Number 4. Hudson River Valley It's hard to believe that just a couple of hours north of NYC, a bustling metropolitan city, there's a pastoral landscape this rich and verdant. And it's not just the landscape that stands in stark contrast to New York City. Life seems to move at a slower pace here in the valley. The region is known for its abundance of great produce, and as such, the local calendar is jam-packed with festivals and fairs that are fun for the whole family. Because of its proximity to the city, however, all that produce has also inspired many chefs to open establishments in the Hudson River Valley that take a farm-to-table approach. Wineries similarly abound. So to recap, you've got a beautiful landscape, quaint riverside towns, great food and local wine, all in a family-friendly environment. What's not to like? Number 3. Thousand Islands We hope you're not too disappointed, but the name of this particular destination is somewhat misleading. There aren't 1,000 islands. The actual count is 1,864. Located on the Canadian border, this stretch of the St. Lawrence River is scenic to the point of feeling surreal. The archipelago consists of islands ranging in size from 40 square miles to tiny pieces of land that only support a single tree and a few shrubs. Taken all together, however, they make for quite the magical environment. Though the natural splendor of the area is the main attraction, no trip to Thousand Islands is complete without a visit to Bolt Castle, which was built between 1900 and 1904 and is open to the public from May through October. Number 2. Ithaca Though technically part of the aforementioned Finger Lakes region, Ithaca has so much to offer that it deserves an entry or a trip of its very own. A vibrant and extremely charming college town, Ithaca has everything you would expect from a destination with a young demographic. Cool restaurants, trendy cafes, art house theaters, small boutiques, Ithaca is just an all-around great place to wander. Of course, a big part of the town's appeal is the fact that it's surrounded by natural spaces to explore. Ithaca makes a great home base for all manner of outdoor activities, including hiking and mountain biking. But even if you never leave the town limits, you're sure to have an unforgettable experience. Museums, festivals, farmers markets, Ithaca has really got it all. Number 1. The Adirondacks If you're looking to immerse yourself in the American wilderness, this is one of the best places to do it. And that holds true regardless of whether you're talking about traveling within New York State or the country as a whole. The Adirondack Mountains, located in northeastern New York, and Adirondack Park stand as arguably the state's greatest national treasure. The aforementioned Lake Placid, for all its appeal, is just one small taste of what the Adirondacks have to offer. It's a hiker's paradise and favorite camping destination for many New Yorkers, while the abundance of waterways also make it a great place for a canoe trip. Mount Colden and Avalanche Lake offer some of the best views in the state, especially during the fall months when the leaf colors are at their brightest. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.